What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use the tape measure tool to rescale your model and also individual objects in SketchUp. Um, before I get started, I do wanna take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, um, you'd like to support the show, uh, please check that out in the links down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's two different strategies that I wanna focus on in this video video. Um, so the first is just scaling your entire model. So scaling your entire model is actually really easy. Um, it's one of the functions in the tape measure tool. And you can find the tape measure tool either at the top of your page or over in your uh, larger tool set over here. And basically what it does is it allows you to measure things on um, in your model. So in this case, what this is, is this is a floor plan image that I just imported as an image in my model. And I used this for a reference images video before, and it's just a plan that I pulled off of, I think it's like Wikipedia or something like that. But it'll basically, this will work for any plan or really any geometry in a model. And so, like for example, and it's a little difficult to read, um, the image isn't super high quality. Let's see if I can turn that up real quick. All right, so you can see what I did is I came over to my SketchUp Preferences. So that's, uh, I believe, Window Preferences. I went to OpenGL and clicked Use Maximum Texture Size. And you do need to be a little bit careful with this just because um, this can kind of slow your model down. But you can see how when I did that, this texture got a little bit easier to read. And that's because SketchUp limits your texture um, resolution in order to keep everything from running really slow. So I turned that off in this case so that I could read all of these dimensions, but you do need to be careful when you do that. Um, because if you get a whole bunch of high resolution textures in here, that'll slow down SketchUp really quick. Um, but in this case, now I can kind of read what's on here. And you can see how this floor plan has a scale of a quarter inch, and it also has this really useful scale um, scale image over here. And so if I come in here with the tape measure tool right now, and I measure from here to here, you can see that my tape measure tool basically tells me this is um, this is a little more than four and a quarter inches long, and it should be two inches in here. And so what we're going to do with the tape measure tool is we're going to activate it. We're going to click between the two points that we want to rescale. So in this case, I'm going to click on this point, and then, and then on this point, right on the end, and then you see how down here at the bottom, it says enter value to resize model. Well, what that means is we can type in a value. In this case, I'm gonna type in two feet and hit the enter key. This is gonna ask me if I wanna resize the model, and I'm gonna say yes. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna resize this image so that the, the distance between these two points that we set is now two feet. So now, if I come in here and I measure this, you can see this is very close to two feet, which is what it should be. So now that means everything in your model, like for example, um, this is supposed to be 24 feet. Well, now that we've scaled this properly, that should come in pretty close. You see how that's close to 24. I think this one says 28. It's still a little blurry. Yeah, that's about 28 feet long. So now our model is in here to scale. So it's real quick and real easy to rescale your whole model. And so to rescale your whole model, just make sure that you're not inside any groups or components or anything like that. So let's let's take another simple example. Um, so we talked about how to resize your entire model, which is what we did before. Well, sometimes you just wanna resize individual objects. So like for example, I've got my plan over here, everything's kind of to scale. And so I may wanna scale one or some of these different objects without actually changing my scale um, in this object over here. And so what we're gonna do is right now, if you came in here and let's say, for example, that you wanted this cone to have a base width of 10 feet. And right now its base is at 90 feet. Well, if you click on that, or if you click outside in your model and you're just kind of out in your model without being inside a component, and you measure across the base of this, and let's say that you say you want this to be 10 feet. Well, you can see what this asks is, do you wanna resize the model? Well, no, you don't wanna resize the model because everything else is to scale. 
So this is asking if you want to resize your entire model. But what you can do instead is you can resize an individual component by clicking inside of it. So like for example, if I double click inside this object and now do the same thing where I measure across the base here and I type in 10 feet, you can see how now that asks me if I want to resize the active grouper component. So I can say yes, what that'll do is that'll resize my cone without resizing everything else in the model. And so I think if we took these two objects and put them in their own group, you could resize basically objects in just this group. So like, let's say for example, that I wanted both of these to be a little bit bigger. So let's say that I wanted to resize my cone and my sphere so that this was 20 feet across instead of 10. And one thing to note is if you look by my cursor right now, there's a little plus button or a little plus icon um, with a dotted line. If that's active, this is gonna draw a guide in your model. So it's gonna draw one of these guidelines. It's not really geometry. It's just more of like, a, like an indicator line. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tap the control key to turn that off. So you can see how as I tap the control key, the little plus goes away. So now if I click on this point, and then this point, and then I enter a value of 20. Since we're inside this group, it should resize both of these. So you can see how that resized my sphere and my cone without resizing the rest of my model. And so if you're careful with the way things are grouped and put together, then you can resize things. You can basically resize whatever you want without affecting the rest of your model. So this scale is still correct. Um, no matter what I do with these, as long as I'm actually inside the components when I do that. All right, so that's how you can use the tape measure tool to rescale um, both your whole model and also objects within your model. Leave a comment below. Let me know, was this helpful to you? Um, is there anything about this that I should have talked about that I didn't cover? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.